What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video from Exotic Astrology and today we will individually see the aspects of planets and we will start with Jupiter because it is the most benefic planet okay and if you have not subscribed to my channel and not seen the videos on transits and eclipses then please refer to them okay and watch the videos in the series early otherwise you will not understand what do I mean by aspects okay so basically what are aspects we already discussed in the earlier video that aspect means wherever a planet is sitting from there it will try to impact some other house okay now where does Jupiter try to aspect okay what is Jupiter Jupiter is wisdom God Guru spirituality positivity Jupiter is the significator of children and husband in a uh, girl's chart okay traditionally also now Jupiter signifies all the good things in life any achievement that you have in life that is signified by the planet Jupiter okay any award ceremony any promotion these are also signified by Jupiter happiness basically social people meeting people having fun with people all these come under Jupiter okay so basically when Jupiter aspects some houses what does it try to do it tries to put its qualities there okay and Jupiter apart from the house where it sits it will aspect the fifth house seventh house and the ninth house okay so for example Jupiter is sitting in the second house okay in any house in any sign so Jupiter from the second house will aspect the fifth house from second house okay which means the sixth house and it will aspect the seventh house from the second house which is the eighth house and it aspects the ninth house from the second house which is the 10th house okay so similarly when Jupiter sits in the third house it will aspect the 7th house 9th house and the 11th house because 7 9 and 11 are 5th 7th and 9th from the third house okay remember whenever we take aspects in astrology or any consideration of planets or houses we consider from that house okay so 5th from 3rd is 3 4 5 6 7 okay 8 9 9 is the 7th house from 3rd house and 10, 11, 11th house is the 9th house from 3rd house so I hope you understood this calculation now suppose Jupiter is sitting in the 1st house so it will directly aspect the 5th house, 7th house and the 9th house now why is Jupiter given special aspects for example the 5th aspect and the 9th aspect 7th aspect is there with every planet right now 5th aspect of Jupiter has to do with something which is like a child okay because fifth house is originally the house of children okay so wherever Jupiter is sitting and casting his uh, fifth aspect on okay we have a tendency to treat that house like as if it is our children okay which means to say that if somebody has moon in fifth from Jupiter so moon is having the aspect of Jupiter okay so now what Jupiter is trying to do it is trying to behave with the moon as if it is like the child okay so that means these people who have moon in the fifth house from Jupiter will treat their mother as if she is a child okay and they will take care of her they will take care that she is happy she is her needs are met okay and they will be having a very good relationship with the mother of course unless moon is spoiled or Jupiter is spoiled by malefic aspects by other planets or by sign etc okay but in general I am saying they will have a very good relationship with the mother and they will behave with their mother as if she is like their child okay similarly if son is sitting they will behave with their father as if he is like their child they will take care of the father okay and if Venus is in the fifth house then they will behave with their spouse and they will take care of the spouse as if they are uh, their child okay and ninth house aspect of Jupiter has to do with gurus with seniority with God okay so wherever the ninth aspect of Jupiter falls you treat that house as if that house is God for you okay so if somebody has Jupiter in the 11th house from 11th the ninth aspect falls in the 7th house so he will very religiously agree to whatever the spouse says okay he or she and if somebody has Jupiter in the third house okay then the fifth aspect falls in the seventh house so he will treat the spouse like a child and the ninth aspect will fall in the 11th house yes from the third ninth is the 11th so that means 
he will treat his friends with lot of respect with lot of dignity with lot of awe and reverence okay and he will agree to them he will take their opinion okay because wherever ninth aspect of jupiter falls we tend to go to that place when we need guidance okay because that is ninth from jupiter okay so similarly jupiter is in the first house so you will treat your children like children because fifth aspect is in the fifth house okay and you will treat the ninth house as your guru which is itself the house of guru right so similarly jupiter is in the fifth house okay jupiter in the fifth house they will treat the ninth house as their children okay so they can be uh, they, they might love to do spiritual activities and they will treat the lagna the first house as god that means jupiter in the fifth these people they will only listen to themselves <laughs> i have seen this time and again they don't listen to anybody they will just listen to one person that is themselves because they think that they themselves are like the guru or the god okay because the ninth aspect of jupiter falls in the first house which is they themselves their head their intelligence they say that oh we can never be wrong <laughs> and if jupiter is in the ninth house their fifth aspect will fall in the first house the lagna so they treat themselves as a as if they are children okay so at times they can behave very immaturely jupiter in the ninth okay and they will treat their children like as if they are god because the ninth aspect falls in the fifth house okay and regarding the seventh aspect of jupiter jupiter tries its best to behave with the other person as a friend okay to have that equality okay to give people their right share okay so if moon is in the seventh house okay from jupiter so the person will have a very good relationship with the mother because he will try to adjust with his mother no go and ask her what are your needs he will try to balance the thing because seventh aspect is all regarding balance okay and you try to mix with the areas where jupiter seventh aspect is falling okay so for example if uh, jupiter is in the first house it gets directional strength there about which we will discuss later but here jupiter seventh aspect falls in the seventh house so you will have a very harmonious relationship with the spouse okay because you will try to maintain the harmony in the seventh house because seventh aspect is falling there and now those people who have their husband or uh, wife having jupiter in the third or 11th are the most luckiest because if your husband has jupiter in the 11th any girl then his ninth aspect falls in the seventh house that means whatever you say he will always agree to you okay and if your husband has jupiter in the third house then the fifth aspect is falling so he will treat you like a child as his own child okay so you guys are very lucky and if similarly if a man uh, if a girl has jupiter in the uh, 11th house then she will treat her husband as if uh, he's god okay because the ninth aspect falls in the seventh house okay and similarly if jupiter is in the fourth house then you will treat your in-laws with lot of love because eighth house is the house of in-laws where the fifth aspect is falling and you will also take the 12th house of spirituality very seriously okay so that's it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments about jupiter and its aspects then please let me know until next time subscribe to my channel bye bye see you